Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about your classroom settings. So first you want to make sure that you're in the classroom that you want to check these settings or change these settings for. So I'm in my technology tidbits classroom. In the top right hand corner, you're going to click on the gear, which will open up the different setting options that you have. First, you can change your class details. So these are the things that you set up when you first created the classroom. So you can modify them if you would like. You also have the general settings right here. So you can do things like change your class code. Um, you can disable it, stuff like that. For the stream, you can decide who uh, is going to post and comment. So you can allow students to do both posting and commenting. You can allow them to just comment or you can make it so that only you can post or comment in your stream. You also have the classwork on the stream, so you can um, have it so that you hide notifications so that when you put in classwork, it's not going to put it on your stream. You can show a condensed notification or you can show um, attachments and details all from stream when you post stuff to classwork. You also can show, show deleted items by toggling this on. Um, and then you can also tag on guardian summaries. And we're going to talk about that in a different video. So look for that one. You also have um, this section down here called grade calculation. So this is where you can set up your grades. Um, right now I have it set to no overall grade, but I can decide to switch it to total points or weighted by category. Uh, I'm going to do total points for this example. Um, and there is a learn more um, URL that you can click on. But down here, you'll notice that it says show overall grade to student. So if you want them to be able to see their grade, their overall grade, you can toggle this on. And then you can also add uh, grade categories. So if you're teaching a certain subject area, maybe you want like homework to be an option. Um, maybe you want classwork to be another option and so on and so forth. Now, once you have that all say, or done the way you want, you're just gonna click save. And now all your changes have been made to the settings for this Google Classroom. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on your classroom settings.